Working when not motivated is something that we should all strive to do. This is going to be a two-part series, one this week and one next week. They're going to go hand in hand with motivation and how to push yourself when you're not feeling it, right? So if you if we're looking to improve our lives and improve our fulfillment, as always, we're looking to be more fulfilled and, and therefore try and create some sort of happiness throughout our life, right? And, and, be, and be at peace with, with oneself. Working when not motivated is something very hard and few people do. Have you ever procrastinated? Have you ever given up halfway through? These are some examples where you've been lazy and not wanted to do any more work, maybe when you were required to or should have, because now it's affected you later on the line where you've had to do double the work in a single day or triple, quadruple in a week, you know? We've all been there, I've been there as well, with especially with exams, cramming cramming massive amounts of information into, into your brain in, in a small period of time which is never all, you know, ideal, but we've all been there, right? And so sometimes when we're lacking this motivation, that's when we should be able to push more or should strive to push more, I should say, because pushing when you're not motivated, guess what? Pushes you out of your comfort zone. If you're comfortable, if you're not, if you're not looking to, to do some more work and you're not motivated, you're in your comfort zone. You're, you're not wanted anymore. You've shut off. You're right. You've accepted that you don't want to do anymore in your mind, your ego's controlling your actions right now and saying, right, we've done enough, there's no point doing any more, you know, we're already, we're good enough, right? But then actually telling yourself no and pushing through that almost, you know, pain, the, the, you're pushing through comfort, which you could view as pain and it's, it's keep you constricted within, within this environment. When you push through to do this work without any motivation behind you, without that inner fire initially, which will get sparked again once you start working, that's when you'll see growth because you're pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. For example, the best example I can give off the top of my head is when you're at the gym, and this is more of a physical example, when you're working a specific muscle, let's go with the bicep curl, and you're going for a set of eight, uh, sorry, you're going for a set of eight reps, and you're on the sixth rep and you're, you're struggling, right? Telling yourself that you're gonna get two more and pushing through it is pushing yourself through your comfort zone, right? That's just an example when you may be lacking motivation in going for the end, right? And you're, you're about to finish, you're about to finish your set that you set out to do. But you're lacking the motivation to carry on because you're tired, you're in pain, you're, you're feeling lazy. But pushing yourself through that, you know, without that motivation that you may have just that disappeared through, through all these overwhelming emotions of, of pain, laziness, and just not wanting to do any more for the day, that's when you'll be able to feel that growth, for example, it, it, with this physical one. However, furthermore, linking to this video, we need to also always be careful of burnouts, right? Burnouts are never fun. You've most likely experienced it yourself. And that's when you've pushed too far, especially when you don't have the motivation, you push too far and push yourself to the extreme extreme for a continuous period of time. And you just completely run out of, 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 of energy. The candle's being burnt at both ends. And that's when you have to take time to relax and, uh, and chill and, and regain that energy and that mental capacity that you want to push forward into the everyday life. So next time when you're feeling, you know, not motivated, ask yourself, you know, have you objectively done what you set out to do today? Whether it be a small task, a big task or a medium task, you know, have you, uh, have you asked yourself the question realistically, have you completed what you want to complete today? If the answer is no, try and push yourself a little bit, even this extra five, 10 minutes. And you'll and, and you you know you read that extra page, you learn the language for an extra ten minutes, you learn a new song on a guitar, you know you've pushed yourself, and guess what? You're gonna feel fulfilled because you've achieved something out of your comfort zone through this growth, which has only been able to happen or able to occur from working when you weren't motivated. That feeling you get when you've completed anything, you know, have you ever gone to the gym and felt, oh, what a waste of time? The answer is no. The same applies to a lot of work, especially if you're passionate about it. You know, you go up to a music producer and you say, "Have you? do you regret working on this last song for 10 hours straight? They're obviously going to be like, no, because they're, they're, they're very passionate about it, right? Even when they're not feeling it, they're doing something they love. They're pushing through that, that psychological pain, maybe the physical pain, the tiredness. Ask yourself the same question. And once you find those passions, keep striving towards them and you'll find that motivation out of nowhere. When you think you're lacking it, it's just actually hidden, pushed away behind the laziness, behind the fear, behind the pain. So make sure we try and strive for this growth through working when not motivated. The ending quote, which has got no author and sums it up nicely, is strive for progress, not perfection.